What's up, everybody? It's Vince. And in our pursuit to always get better, always improve things, just to do the best we can possibly do here at VCG Construction, we've gone out and we've made a small purchase that will help a series of videos that we've been doing. If this is your first time to the channel, you might not be aware that every Friday afternoon we do tours. Furious Friday. It's how we get our aggression out at the end of the week. If you haven't seen that playlist or any of those videos, we'll put a link over here. Go and check it out. But how are we gonna improve those tool wars? Well, that answer's coming right up. No, the answer to improving our live streams on a Friday afternoon is not to drink more coffee. It is indeed a suggestion made by the very cool gang. They told us, hey Vince, don't you have one of them IR thermometers? This way we can see the temperature of the tools as they're going through the test. They said, you know what? That's a heck of an idea. So we went on out to the Milwaukee Tool Store. If you didn't see us tour that store where we picked up this infrared temp gun, we'll link that video over here. It's a pretty interesting video. Go check it out. But not right now. After this video's over, then go check it out. So, what do we have with this? Number one, this is the M12. 12 to 1 infrared temp gun. Well, what does that mean? Well, they do have versions of this temp gun that are powered by maybe a couple AA batteries. Why would I prefer this M12 version as opposed to a unit that only uses a couple AA batteries? Because I don't constantly use my temp gun. And what I'm most afraid of is that this temp gun will go to a place to sit for a long time and use alkaline batteries. Sometimes they could seep out, cause damage to the tool, and also, they could be dead when you go to use the tool. I got the M12 version because as long as I have a charged M12 battery, we're good to go. When I'm not using the temp gun, I'm gonna pull this M12 battery out and use it in my other M12 pools. Solves two problems, awesome. So what can we tell you about this temp gun? Well, it's 12 to one, that means you will get the same temperature from at least from what I've read, you will get the same temperature whether you are one foot or 12 foot away from the object. So you could be one foot or 12 foot, you're gonna get the same temperature reading, okay? It has some rubber around it, it's rubberized. It's got a six foot impact resistance. It's got stunning readability. I mean, indoor or outdoor, just read the package. Simple high low alert setup, fully bumpered nose, shielded LCD, survives six foot drops, Premium LCD for clearest readings. Over molded grip for easy handling. Clear button functions, easy setup. Also available from Milwaukee. They got a 10 to one, 226710. The 226820 and the 226920. But they're all, these are all the units, if you take a look here, that use the double A's. We don't want that. Accuracy, plus or minus 1.8 of a degree. Fixed emissi emissivity. Fixed emissivity. 0.95. Backlit, yes. High low alert, yes. Max min average difference, yes. Fahrenheit Celsius setting, yes. A lot of yeses. Temperature range, minus 22 degrees Fahrenheit to L, 1022 degrees Fahrenheit. That's a big range. Thing is, is that if we're using any tools that get up to a thousand degrees, okay, I don't, I don't think that we would need this temp gun to let us know that. This is 227820, if you're interested in it. Let's get it open. Yo, I love this knife, the old thing. Our good friend, Chris Conkle from Chris Conkle Vlog sent it over to us. If you'd like to see the video where he uses this exact Olfa knife in his daily construction routine, we'll link a video over here, because he's a good dude. 
we're gonna use it, not to cut drywall, we're gonna use it to cut this PVC clamshell. Because it looks like there's no shot in heck that this thing would just rip apart. That Japanese steel is real sharp. No. So be very careful, people. You imagine I just pop it out, boom, and it'll hit the ground. There's any literature in there. Yes, there is. Extra, extra, read all about your temp gun. Let me ask you a question, everybody. You think the Milwaukee Tool Company, like back in 1954, made a made a deal with a paper company? Like they they were this paper company was going out of business. Like they bought up all this excess paper because it's like the, every manual is printed on the same kind of paper. Maybe it's my imagination. Pew, pew, pew. 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 Better stop! You may be too hot for your own good. You kill me. Get it? You better put your hands up. You may be too high for your own good. Put them up! So what we did here was we put our XC 4.0 battery. This way, it could stand up. You know what I mean? We don't have to lay it down. We could, but you know, it will stand up. Got a little, uh, got a little piece of plastique. I'm gonna pull off. I will say this. I like I like the rubber on the nose because you know it's gonna fall on its nose. Also, I like how the rubber over mold in the back also sticks out further than the LCD screen. Pretty cool. I mean, the, the grip is nice. There's some rubber over molding here, but I'm not very worried about that at all. But it feels nice. Not bad. So, how do we use this thing? I don't even know. Oh, well, you just you just hit the you hit the trigger. I will say this: the screen is very bright. The surface of my skin is eighty-eight point. A bottle of agua. If it matters, when it's hitting behind. I guess it doesn't. So where, where is it coming in at? Like around 49 degrees? Got that? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, like the coffee, for instance. 106 degrees. Yeah. We're well within our range of this thermometer. Was it minus 22 to 1,022? Okay. So it does have different modes. So you're able to, well, Okay, there we go. We have our max. We'll be able to hold the max temperature down here in the lower right hand corner, right? The minimum, well, minimum 400 degrees. How that happen? We'll put it in a minimum. You can see it will register. It should register the, the, the lowest, let's see. See, it's holding that minimum temperature, okay? Then we have our average, average in an area, right? That average is those numbers, okay? And we have the difference, the differential from 75.9, it's a 27.9 degree difference. I'm just taking, I'm taking the, taking the heat guns or temperature guns word for it because quite frankly, my arithmetic's not that good. Boom, and then we just have our, ma once again, our max temperature. So there's a whole bunch of different settings there. We were able to set your max temperature if you wanted to set an alarm, okay? If you were below or above the, let's just say, we wanted to set a max temperature reading where there would be an alarm or even a minimum, right? So you'd hit set, 
Here's the high, okay? So you would want, let's just say, just to, for illustration, we're gonna lower it all the way down to 66 degrees, okay? Lows at zero, it's fine, that's fine. That's fine, that's fine, that's all fine. Okay, so now, our alarms are on. Our, our let's, let's hit, hit the temperature gauge. We've exceeded our maximum temperature range. So the alarm is, the, the temperature will flash, letting you know you're outside of your range. So if you're in food service and you need to have your, your you're inspecting maybe your, your health inspector, you need to set your temperature ranges to be in specific, maybe like 36 degrees to 56 degrees, okay? For maybe a Bay Marie or something like that. You could set your alarm to let you know if you're inside those ranges. If you become outside of those ranges, you get a flash of light. It doesn't make an audible noise, but you know, it could be a signal if you see that flashing light. Could help you do your job faster, quicker. I don't know. Maybe it won't. I don't know. So, pretty happy I picked it up. This way, we can get a better idea of what temperatures the tools are running on Friday night's Tool Wars. It's gonna be furious. You know, people ask me, they're like, hey Vince, why'd you get the M12 version? Why don't you get the one takes batteries? Cause I don't want to worry about no stinking batteries. That's why. And if you like laser beams, make sure you smash that like button. Also, if you like laser beams and videos about tools and construction, but laser beams, what you do is get subscribed. Smash the bell notification, cause we could do some future videos about laser beams and you're not gonna wanna miss them. So go hit all them buttons and then, everybody, I appreciate all you. Have a great day. We'll see you later. Did you like that video? Wondering what to watch next? Well, why don't you click over here and watch this video? Or click over here and watch this video. If you really like our content, we hope you consider getting subscribed by clicking right here. Thanks a lot, and have a great day, guys.